And so today I'm going to be showing you a very different sort of video, um, but one that I think might be really helpful to those of you who spend a lot of time at a desk or an easel or a drafting table uh, like I do. And I get a lot of uh, stiffness because I have a tendency to contort myself into these awkward positions while I'm getting really close to my artwork and uh, uh, whether uh, I'm at an easel or, or my table, I lose track of my body positioning and uh, I can kind of maintain that uh, awkward position for quite a long time and that can be uh, super detrimental once I'm done my actual session. And I feel it in the morning, especially when I'm spending hours and hours um, like that, either standing or sitting for, for long periods of time. So um, today I thought I would share with you some of my stretching techniques and by no means am I a physiotherapist or a kinesiologist or uh, pretend to be a, a doctor or a specialist of any kind, but this is what works for me. And I thought I would uh, share some of this um, information and some of these little tricks with you today. So um, one thing that I'm always concerned and super cautious about is, is my wrist and uh, my fingers and then um, the section through my neck and shoulders. So um, I guess that's more than one thing, that's several things, but <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna show you a few of my stretching techniques and I'll try to verbalize what it is that I'm feeling as I'm doing these things so that you can look for those uh, same sensations. So um, the first thing that uh, I do immediately is just stretch my, my hand out. So I'll just shift over into this position so you can see a little bit more. So I, I put my arm out in front of me and you can of course do this standing as well. Um, but I put my hand out in front of me and I push the heel of my hand out or the heel of my palm um, out towards um, the wall. And I just gently create a little bit of resistance at my fingertips with my opposite hand. So you can hold this for maybe five or 10 seconds. It doesn't have to be a lot of pressure for you to start feeling it through your forearm. And then the next thing I do is just start releasing one finger at a time. So I just sort of let one finger slip out as I hold back the other three. So one finger that way, and then I let the next finger just in a neutral position, kind of relax while I'm holding the other three fingers back and I continue through that, letting one finger out and creating a tiny bit of resistance with the other three. Finally, the baby. And don't forget your thumb as well. So this is sort of awkward to be pulling it back like that, but you can reverse it or you can just flip it upside down and hold it like this. So again, not much pressure here. Try to hold it out directly in front of you when you are doing this yourself. I'm just rotating to show you um, more easily. So then, I mean, you do really whatever feels good to you essentially, but I do a lot of wrist rotations, not just out in front of me, but I also pull my arm out to the side of my body. And if I really want to stretch in through here, I actually create a little bit more resistance by turning my head. So you can just tilt your head or you can even turn it for a little bit extra pull. I can personally feel this through my neck, shoulder, all the way down to my wrist. And I can do these nice slow rotations and just flip it back around. So we've push the palm this way, but you can also do the reverse where you just pull your fingers back in that direction. Now, I like to also just stretch my, stretch my fingers out. Just sort of pulling them in different directions. I find my knuckles get really sore. And again, just sort of stretch them out this way. These should be really just a pulsing sensation, like a press and release. You can do the little spider um, against the opposing hand, but just two seconds, 
release to neutral, two seconds, release to neutral. Of course, everything that I've done on this hand, I would repeat on the opposite hand um, and arm. You could even just do some really slow neck rotation. And always make sure you're sitting up nice and tall for this. You can also do just really slow C shapes where your chin is just tracing, like it's more like a U shape, tracing a U shape on your chest and shoulders. And then big head rotations. Of course, don't forget your spine. So sometimes I pull my spine back and create an alcove in the front of my body. And then you can arch your back to just create an opposing stretch. So I think that's about it. I already feel really good in this arm. Um, it's early in the morning. So again, I get kind of a little bit stiff in the morning and uh, it's, it's nice even if I do it subconsciously after and not take like a full routine to do this at the end of the day, but um, I just do it after or before. Um, I tend to just stretch or want to stretch naturally in the morning anyhow, um, but adding that little extra bit for your arms and your hands and your neck and your shoulders um, should keep you nice and limber throughout the day through your painting practice. And then don't forget to stretch your body out. Um, to counteract any of those awkward positions that you've been in all day. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you find time to integrate this into your own painting practice as well. Take care, happy painting. See you the next time.